if you could pick a team, I mean, maybe it's even <laughs> your own, maybe <laughs> it's whatever this year, yep. whatever. Uh, who would it, what do you think is the best UConn team? Wow. You know, uh, the best UConn team, men's team ever, I would say, you know, I always make sure I say men's because I live, you know, mm-hmm. a couple miles from campus. So you always have to clarify that because we know that the women, <laughs> there are queens. We don't mess with, yep. the, 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 Gino is the guy. We don't, so we may have to make it clear, <laughs> best men's team. Yes. Um, but I would say, you know, I would say, I, I think that that first Jim Calhoun team, you know, the first team that, that won the national title, you know, you had some really good players, you know, Ricky Moore, who was an assistant coach for a long time, still, um, uh, re- I just remember those times um, in Florida where no one really expected UConn to be there. Uh, you know, they've had such so many great players, you know, Richard Hamilton, Khalid El Amin, Emeka Okafor. But I think that first championship is always the most memorable. I know before that, Calhoun would always say my senior year was his best team ever, even after a couple of championships. And so much so many times we judge success and favorites on winning and 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 getting that ring. But I, I thought it was awesome to hear Calhoun, even to this day, says his now his second best team was uh, my senior year. But the history of that school in such a short time with the national titles for, for the men's on the men's side is, is something that, that, you know, we're not a blue blood it's Connecticut. And uh, it's something that we take a lot of, a lot of pride in. So listen, the Kimball Walker run where they mm, won five games in five yeah. days in the Big East tournament. And then they ran through the NCAA tournament. That's memorable as well. I will say Julie, that the last championship was a great one too, because Kevin Ollie's team, every step of the way, beat every conference, either conference, major conference champ or conference tournament champ. You know, they beat Izzo, they beat Jay Wright, uh, they beat Iowa State. Uh, they kind of ran through the gamut of all those 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 champions of their conference, Kentucky, Florida. So it, so that's a memorable team as well. And it wasn't too, too long ago. I remember that too, because it was 2014. It was my second yeah. year in America. And I was like, wow, this UConn <laughs> Huskies team certainly is someone to watch. It has been a couple yeah. of difficult years since that moment. But yeah. you you mentioned the the team that you were on and yeah. you had very some some very big names on that team as well. Yeah. Ray Allen, of course. Yeah. Take me back to Ray Allen at UConn. What was he like as a player? Ray was uh was interesting. It's 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 funny because he's before I got on with you, he's texting me about we're playing in some Connecticut. Uh, we play golf, so we're playing in some CSGA events, some U.S. Open events as a nice. team par- partner. So we we get after it in the summer. So a couple more weeks and my mate. real season starts. Mm-hmm. My golf the golf <laughs> season starts. So, uh, but Ray was it was interesting because when he came to school, he was on an unofficial visit. He was 16 years old, skinny. I mean, he was just from from you know, he's, he's from, we always say he's from the world. His dad, he's a military brat. So they've lived all over the world, but he came, when he came on his trip, he was living in South Carolina, Dalzell. Uh, so when he got there, he was wide eyed and, you know, they're saying this kid's going to be a really good player. Never did they mention anything about his shooting ability. Not once. It was just terrific athlete can run, can jump. Uh, he gets there. That, so that was, he was 16. I showed him around on his visit. He ends up coming and, I don't even know if he, I don't know how much he touched the ball his freshman year. Because when, you, when you're an upperclassman and you got this young guy that you're talking about, you're not always, you're not always that kind of inclined to be like, okay, come on, young fellow. You're just kind of like, he's got to earn it. I had to earn it. Yes. He's got to earn it. Exactly. Uh, well, he earned it and he earned it. <laughs> so, uh, and, and then it was just work, you know, it was work ethic. It was, everyone thinks, and he and I had this conversation last week. Everyone thinks that Ray Allen just woke up with a jump shot and, and, you know, they, they think that some of these guys who are playing nowadays, Luca Garza just woke up one day and could post up and could shoot it from deep and mid range. And, you know, Ayo Desunmu could run as, run fast and pull up in, in transition. But these guys work, you know, and that, that was the thing that stood out to me with Ray Allen is he was a hard worker. You know, some of the greatest players ever and the greatest player in my mind, Michael Jordan, was the, one of the hardest workers. And, and, I, you know, we all kind of playing golf and being around the, the fraternity, you know, MJ, and you know how hard he worked. So it's something that I think is missed nowadays when we see greatness. And, and that's what Ray did. He worked his tail off to become a great, not a good, but a great shooter and a great player. But it was, it was fun because we made him earn it. We made him earn it. 